Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your pick a card reading. This is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with everyone. So you are going to utilize your own intuition, pick what resonates, leave the rest. And always, if you want to have a personal, more private reading, you may do so by just um, going to the description box below and my information and contact me and we can set something up for you. All right. So for this is a pick a card, this is a general reading, meaning that you are going to ask yourself a question as to what you need to know. And then you're going to utilize one of these card decks, one that you were drawn to the most. So take a deep breath, relax, think of the question that you have to have, and we will see what general answer that we have for you that you need to know. All right, we are gonna start with pile number one. Letting go, movement, mother reversed, nine of fire, six of earth reversed, five of earth hmm, reversed. There's a need here within this energy to let go so that you can evolve. Spirit is asking you to really release anything that no longer serves you. And once you do this, there's going to be quick movements. There's something that's coming and changing in your life. And butterflies are all about evolving and changing in 22. We have movement here. There's a lot of change coming about in play, and I feel that whatever have, has left you wounded in the past, you are seeing something a little bit more. Now with the mother energy, this is very much the empress. She's fertile, she's abundant, she's confident, she's loving, compassionate, she's everything. Now this is reversed. To me, it's just the moment of feeling like you're at the precipice of the empress. Because she's reversed doesn't mean that you, you can't empower the Empress. What it's meaning is that you are going through some changes to become the Empress. With the Nine of Fire reverse, this is all about utilizing your own intuition, about having compassion and love. And do you see how he's holding a rose in between there? There's something that is blocking you from this, from this uh, action of how you feel. I feel that with this energy of the six of earth here, now this could be an individual, this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus coming, you know, who's been in your past, but you see how he's holding the weights on his shoulder, but he's got something to give. This means that this person was overburdened. That maybe there was something overburdened in a relationship because it's coming down here. But they're releasing these burdens. They are releasing these blocks. With a five of fire reverse, and this is Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy. Do you see how this person is aside and someone has the ace of spades there? But you see this individual. I feel like there's an ending of this, of someone being egotistical, of leaving you in the dark. And you are truly letting go of the situation that you are gonna be moving forward towards your Empress energy, evolving and allowing that. Your healing card is respect. I feel like there's going to be a giant movement towards self-respect for you. This is the Empress. This is somebody who's empowered, who knows her worth. All right. That was pile number one. Let's move on to pile number two. Lust, hope. Eight 
Ace of Cups reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Nine of Wands. Page of Pentacles reversed. Mm. If there was an individual in your on your mind, this person that you had maybe felt that was going to be your forever, your permanent relationship, you might have had a lot of hope in this individual, but the offer didn't come, okay? This is reverse. This means that the offer never came. There was never, it was all passion, but there was nothing that was um, fulfilling in this. But there's hope here. With this reverse, I do feel like this was somebody from your past about somebody who maybe that you always wanted to have but never necessarily had the chance to. Or somebody ended it very quickly. This offer is definitely not on the table. That might have just been a lustful moment. Now you might have um, water in your chart to so Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But you also might have um, fire in your chart as well, which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or this other individual it is. But somebody is feeling wounded here, looking at the situation as though, what was that about? It did not bring you any kind of stability. It might have been a small offer with the Page of Pentacles. But with it reverse, it means that this was off the table, that it never actually, it never actually became anything. It was just, it just was lust. Somebody just felt lust in the situation where someone wanted more. Whether it was you or the other individual, there was hope here as that it would be more. But with the moon, that means that there's some kind of disillusions or not clarity on a situation. Let's see what your healing card has to say. Sensitivity. This is all about having an open heart. This individual probably did hit your emotions in a big way, but this is spirit also asking you to be sensitive towards yourself. This is also self-love, nurturing yourself, being grounded, allowing yourself in, right? To allow yourself to feel. Because once you start feeling and realizing what you are worth, this cup is going to turn around for some, someone who deserves your love when your cup is filled, when it's divinely timed. I don't believe it's this individual. All right, let's see what card pile number three messages have to say. Focus. Denial. Unreversed strength, ace of air, and the high priestess reversed. Okay. There's a call to be more focused. Whatever you have been denied in the past that you have felt that you haven't been able to achieve. See how they're going for that, that those grapes going towards it. Do you see how the number is 14? This is five. So there's going to be a change in this. There's going to be a change in here. Now with the sun reverse, the sun's all about happiness, everything. You have everything, right? You're very happy. Or sorry, the star. The star is about healing. But I said the sun because I remind me of the sun. So just keep in mind that there's never a chance of anything that comes up. So I feel like there is a need for happiness, a balance on this, that there's a need for some kind of balance because you've been denied this. So just keep that in mind with the star reversed, that the healing hasn't quite happened yet, that there's a need to be more focused on you and not so much the expectation of an outcome so that you can get this healing in place. It is taking great strength, okay? Strength. Loyalty, you might have a Leo in your life. This is also about abundance. But do you see how this, this lion is looking out for this individual? I feel like you may feel like you're on your own 
and that you don't have an individual to help you out, to make you feel like you're balanced. But just know that whatever denial or that you, because I mean, this is pinpoint focus here, right? So whatever you have your mind on and so forth, you're not, you might feel independent and on your, like on your own. But I think where your true strength is going to come in is when you receive help whether it's just from a friend or a relationship for somebody to be there with you because you have the ace of air here and this is all about seeing the truth a perception a new perception right the pegasus is coming in so they can see below so you may have somebody who is a libra aquarius or gemini who's really seeing and a perception of you to bring you in this help but i feel like the denial here with the high priestess reverse is your own intuition this is somebody who has clarity seeks clarity knows her clarity right with it reverse there's almost some kind of blockage going on here probably because you're not healed from a situation that's not bringing you joy whatever you have your eye set on eye set on the prize you just feel like you need to be there you're feeling like you need to grab that but you're not allowing yourself to focus on yourself to have this healing come in play. You're not allowing help, love, and support. I feel like you have an individual here that, that wants to come in to give you that love and support. But right now, you, you are so focused on the prize that you're not listening to your heart, your own intuition. Self-love. Yeah. This is all about healing self-love, but do you see that there's a stag here? There's someone coming towards you who's a leader, who's confident, who knows your worth. This individual is definitely coming towards you. Wants to help. Spirit is asking you to allow the help and to focus on you. If these messages resonated with you, go ahead and hit the like. Feel free to comment. I, list, I read all my comments. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe so that you can be uploaded to uh, all the notifications when I upload new readings. All right, and thanks again.